Outland zones at Unreal Engine 4. This is the thing that people wanted me to look at. I'll pull this up real quick. In the grand. Wait, holy. F as a special. Holy. F I could just imagine a cleft of being next to that tree. The throne of the elements. Holy shit. Dude. This is so fucking uh, quality. I'll put on 1080p, okay? Wow. Holy shit. Wow. Jesus. Look at the quality. 4K? I, I don't have a 4K monitor. I don't stream this 4K, so it's not going to look that good. Oh my... Dude, that looks... Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks so good, man. It really makes me want to think like... Uh, it, it really makes me want to think that maybe one of these days we'll actually see a game like would see wow look like that man like wouldn't that just be fucking incredible like it would just be like that's the kind of like i don't know it would just be so fucking cool man it would be so cool like maybe the game would suck but the graphics would look really cool what the fuck wow that is so good man Jesus. This is exactly what I would have imagined the Grand to look like. It's like the first time I saw it, this is like what was in my head. It's like, yeah, that's the way it looked. Yeah. Because I was like 16 then, you know? I was like, yeah, that's what it is. You don't need two 3090s? Yeah. Holy fuck, man. Ah, that looks good. Yeah, the waterfalls are a little bit weird, right? But, like, who gives a shit? Who cares about that? Doesn't matter. Music's gonna make me cry. I don't blame you, man. I think this is amazing. I, I love this kind of stuff, man. It looks really, really cool. Holy fuck, man. Needs a red mob every 10 feet for the authentic feel. Imagine if WoW had these graphics. Yeah, this is fucking amazing, man. And there's... No way. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is an actual fucking... That's insane, dude. Alright, what about this one? Is this longer? This is a shorter one. Let me pull this one up too. This is Shadow Moon Valley? Holy shit. There's Goldan right there. He'd be right there summoning some bullshit. 12 seconds yeah yeah i mean obviously he didn't finish it in the same level that he finished in the grand but like that's incredible man like just seeing this th this stuff is like really really cool to me like look at that man look how clean and well designed that is i i, I like this so much because it like it's such a it, it's such a good combination of like the like fantasy nature of Nagrand and just like the wide open plains of like, I don't know, someplace in Norway or some shit, you know what I mean? Like it's the perfect combination, man. It's so badass. Essentially this 1.0 and no one could run it. Yeah, it's probably it, right? I mean like computers need to get better in order for this to be the norm, you know what I mean? But uh, until that happens, uh, you know, we'll just have to look at this. Can you feel the lag? Yeah, I can feel this being like 10 FPS. 
But uh, still, seeing it regardless is so fucking cool to me. I, I love being able to see stuff like this. I think it's super fucking exciting, man. I, I love this shit. Uh, let's see. AMD Radeon Partner Showcase with World of Warcraft Shadowlands. What the fuck is this? Oh. What is this? AMD Radeon 6000 Partner Showcase, Blizzard Entertainment. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm John Height, executive producer for World of Warcraft at Blizzard Entertainment. We're thrilled to have the opportunity to team up with AMD for the launch of Shadowlands. Great. The eighth expansion for World of Warcraft. That's In a lot. In the Shadowlands, we'll travel to a realm of infinite afterlives. Yeah. Where the mortal souls of the Warcraft universe go to reckon Fixed with their past. Oh, sorry. And there we forge go. their future. Sorry, I, I didn't Shadowlands realize it was off. is ruled by four distinct covenants, really? each having their own I've never heard of that before. purpose and powers. As we journey through this mystical realm, mm -hmm. we face an important decision. Which covenant will we swear allegiance to? The choice will grant unique covenant abilities that will enable us to vanquish our enemies and master the world around us. You can just tell that he's fucking reading that off of a script. He's like, to vanquish our enemies and uh master the world around us yeah it's like yeah I, I can tell he's very fucking excited about this he's like oh boy I, I can't wait to read another fucking script oh great meaningful choice yeah exactly we work closely with amd okay. to bring you immersive and beautiful worlds with our signature warcraft style great like amd we're committed to providing players with the best gaming experiences possible we're excited to team Good. up with great partners like AMD to bring some new features to World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is okay. built on a custom engine using the DirectX 12 Ultimate API. The game engine has been continuously evolving to utilize DirectX 12 for next generation architectures like RDNA 2. All right. One of the new features we've implemented is Fidelity FX Ambient Occlusion. Now, ambient occlusion attempts to simulate those places that light kind of has trouble reaching, like the corner of a room. This is a compute-based effect that has a great balance Okay, let's quality. see what this is. All right, so the difference... Uh... I think the light on the floor is a little bit different. It seems like if you turn it off, it gets rid of the lights on the floor. The fire? Let me see the fire. I, I guess the fire is a little bit different. Yeah, sure. I mean, but I think the fire is different because it's a different part in the animation of the fire. So, like, that's probably why the fire is different. The steps? Uh, I mean, the steps, it, it, it just makes it a little bit more blurry around the edges. I mean, I'm not really... I, I'm not really getting sold on this one, boys. I'm sorry to say. I'm not really sold on this. This seems like the same exact shit that I've seen before. Like, I'm not too excited about seeing this. I'll be honest, the guy on the stairs is gone? Well, yeah, yeah, the ambient occlusion just removes it. It removes mobs from the dungeon. That's how they get people to try out the new graphics changes, is they just make the new graphics changes, make the dungeon despawn mobs. Problem solved. And performance. We have seen this provide a significant uh -huh. performance benefit over our previous ambient occlusion implementations. Wow. Another great feature on the RX 6000 is DXR ray tracing. Okay, let's see. Here that. you can see ray tracing evident and how the shadows are interacting with your character. What you're seeing involves incredibly complex computations on the RX 6000. This is a level of realism that hasn't been possible until recently. And finally, uh, we've implemented very. What do you guys think about that? Is that cool? I, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's not crazy awesome. Like in my opinion, I feel like this is almost. It's almost distracting. Like, I'm gonna be honest, it's almost distracting. Look at this. Here you can see ray tracing evident and how the shadows are interacting it's like with your character. Yeah, it, it's distracting. I don't know really if I'd like that or not. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like that or no? Anyone thinks it's bad nowadays? Yeah, it's a disco show. It's a little bit much, man. It's a little bit fucking much. No, I don't know. Like, I, I don't Maybe I'll turn this on. It depends on, like, kind of how it looks. I, I like having things be a little bit more simple in my mind, though. I, I prefer that. What you're seeing involves incredibly complex computations on the RX 6000. Mm -hmm. This is a level of realism that hasn't been possible until recently. Wow. Incredible. And finally, we've implemented variable rate shading. This is going to provide a nominal performance increase, particularly at very high resolutions. The result of all this technical innovation is a more immersive gameplay experience for our players. We've partnered with AMD to help us squeeze all the power out of your hardware and improve your frame rate wherever we can. 
whether you are running quests for the Night Fae in Ardenweald, yeah. or taking the fight to Denathrius, the ultimate boss That's of good. our first raid tier. Also, now more than ever, That's the WoW good. Engine provides options that can utilize every bit of VRAM it can. These okay. options include higher resolutions, super sampled anti-aliasing, ray tracing, and ambient occlusion. Cool. In addition, the RX 6000's Infinity Cache technology improves performance. This scene looks really badass. Like, let's be honest. Like, this does look really fucking badass. What do you think? Like, to me, though, like, I don't know. I, I don't really notice this kind of stuff. Maybe I'm like a fucking, uh, I'm like a caveman or something. But I don't know. It just doesn't really seem like that crazy to me. It's like kind of whatever. Overall, it it's whatever to me. For even large 4K screen resolutions and ray trace shadows. We have worked closely with AMD okay. to bring these exciting new graphical features to World of Warcraft. And we can't wait for our players to experience them. On behalf of the entire World of Warcraft team, I want yeah. to say thank you our players for You're their welcome. continued support. You're welcome. We can't wait for you to experience the stunning visuals of the Shadowlands. <laughs> the stunning... I mean, you gotta understand, like... ...of the Shadowlands. This guy's fucking... Like, this guy's working 13 hours a day. Like, he's working 13 hours a day. Make sure this fucking game comes out for these goddamn fucking nerds. So, like, yeah, he's got to read it off a of fucking... He's tired, man. 